Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today I have something a little bit different for you. In the same vein of breaking things and being a spacefaring individual, we're going to play a different game today. A game that I've been wrapped up in recently called Hard Space Shipbreaker. If you haven't heard of this game before, it's basically viscera cleanup detail, but instead of picking up body parts, you're tearing apart spaceships. And it's just as satisfying and cathartic as it sounds. And it also has some of the best music of any game that I've played recently. If you're not familiar, the basic premise of the game is that you go out with your tools, you cut up a ship in zero gravity, and you throw the parts in their respective bins. I'll explain more once we start breaking down the ship, but I'm at a fairly intermediate to high level in the game currently, so the ships are a lot to take in immediately. Regardless, scheduled DRG content will return shortly, but I've been playing this game so much anyways, I thought I might as well make a video out of it. Also, this is my chance to diversify a little bit and see what other people think of it. Gotta make sure I'm marketable outside of just DRG, you know? So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in the game. So this is one of the more complex ships I've taken on up to this point. I just did a very similar one that's a little bit larger, but this one has pretty much all the same complexities, so hopefully it should be about the same level of challenge. I wanted to beat this ship type at least once, so I kind of knew what I was doing to take it apart, but uh, this is a very, very built up one, and it's going to take quite a bit to get it all apart. So the first thing I think I can just pull these off. Easy. So if you're not familiar with how this game works, there's basically three types of components you can pull off the ship. There's processable materials that go in there, uh, furnace, scrap, and then there's reusable objects which go in the barge. And anytime you aim at anything, it tells you which hole to put it in. You can see right there it says processor. This thing goes to the barge. So it's pretty simple conceptually, but there's a lot of complexity to it in how you have to take some of this stuff apart to avoid uh, getting yourself blown up. Oh, this is stuck on here. So, also there's pressurized compartments in the actual ship, like there we can see those green areas are pressurized. So if I am to go into those without uh, properly safing them first, it'll be a bad time for me. Or if I was to cut the ship apart without safing them up, let me say that. So, putting this stuff away. Getting the just basic stuff off the outside real quick. Actually, no, I'll be able to take that as one component. I don't need to take that apart. So, we will go ahead and get inside. Ah, there's a hatch right there. So, all the shifts are timed. So, they're 15 minutes apiece. And after that time, you move on to the next shift and you pay a small fee for renting your equipment. Overall, it's not too much of an issue as you make a shit ton of money with every ship, but overall, you want to try to do the ships in as few shifts as possible. Okay, so we got that airlock decompressed now. We got our main reactor right here, which is the biggest, biggest thing to worry about whenever you're taking the ships apart. It's the most valuable single component that there is. So it seems like a lot of this ship is already decompressed. Just seems like a couple of little airlock pockets here. Regardless though, that's always my main priority is to get these opened up. So very minor, minor decompression problems here, but if this entire whole area had been pressurized, say, then it would have been much more dangerous to actually like come through here and if I had cut the exterior at all the entire ship would have just like hemorrhaged its guts out and uh, probably killed me in the process but uh, normally you have to use these things to decompress the ship but in this situation it looks like we are pretty much good so we can see all these little cut joints right here that we need to cut to open up the ship this one really didn't have too much issue with pressurization so this will be pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and cut this uh, nacelle off right here so that we can have a little way in and out. Or I guess it's a sensor. Pull this to the side real quick and drop it in the barge. I also have these tethers right here that you can use to 
pull things while you're not connected to them. All right, well that gives us a nice little access point. That is in the airlocks. There's a lot of coolant and fuel lines running from the reactor to the thrusters, so we are gonna have to deal with those at some point as well. Just trying to cut one of these hull panels open so I can get the reactor out. That's my main priority right now. Because if I do accidentally break something and the reactor gets disconnected, I need to be able to, to egress it and get into the barge really quickly. Okay. So we got the fuel lines connecting the reactor to the thrusters here. We want to be careful moving around those. could collide something with the fuel lines and rupture something. So this panel will open up, I know that for sure. So there's that, drag that into the processor, and before I lose track of it we'll throw this into the barge as well. There she goes. Now we got this, pro this processor panel open. Just want to get this antenna off before it drifts away. Okay, that's also bargeable, so we'll just take that. Perfect. And then that goes over there. That should be decent reactor access. Not quite as good as I want it to be, though. this off as well. Just kind of give us give ourselves some more head space over here. I want to be able to maneuver very very freely once the reactor is loose. Did I not cut something? Oh yeah, right here. Two of them actually. Okay. That's loose now. I mean not accidentally process the airlock console on this one. Okay. Let's pull this airlock. Perfect. Looks like we can pull these as well. I haven't actually encountered this type of panel before. I think it's like a cargo bay cover or armor? Huh. I'm gonna be very careful not to accidentally cut the plate itself. Oh, surprisingly light for armor. Okay. Yank that down, that should just bump bump its way past. Yeah, it'll be alright. Kind of could tell from the weight of that that it wasn't going to be an issue if it collided, but some heavier objects like this panel right here you can see is kind of putting up a fight, so I want to make sure it gets clear more easily so it doesn't drag anything with it. Okay. Okay, we got this panel free now. Oh, we got all these panels free. Look at this. So we can actually chain these together and then just pull this one in. That should take everything. Put some twist on them with that. There we go. That should accelerate the rear one a little bit more. Just so they get clear of the furnace, because these uh, processor bins have their own gravitational pull to them, so you don't want to accidentally let them get too close to something and get sucked into the wrong one. Okay, that is some very good space to work with as far as getting the reactor out, so we should be all good to do that now. Just gonna pull this last little T piece. The bright side though, we got the reactor completely ready to pull, so 
it'll be a quick affair on the next shift. Oh, that is a bigger piece than I thought. What is that? That's processor. There's something still hanging on here. Ah, that's the the crane track. That is one thing you can do while the ship is still in a larger piece, is just hook up the panels and then cut them while they're being pulled. So you can kind of see when they come loose, you don't have to think about it. But once the ship starts to get lighter and lighter, that becomes less viable as you'll pull the entire ship around, which is not a good thing. Well, maybe it is if you're actually good at the game, unlike me. I just shredded a panel. Whoops. Oh, this whole track is processor as well, that's good. Oh, wow. That's a big piece. Alright, let's just focus on getting this in right now. Yeah, that is all processor material right there. Very nice. And I should be able to take this whole chunk as well. Oh, we got this chunk loose, so we'll take this. Oh my. That felt much heavier when I was moving it with my gun. Careful, that's gonna get into the furnace. Okay. Not sure if there's any fuel canisters for me to pick up in this ship. I can't, couldn't find any, so we're just gonna play it safe. Realistically, all, all I'm going to get on this shift, I might be able to sneak back over there and get one more panel, but I'm about out of resources, so I can't wait. I shouldn't have to buy oxygen, though, so I'll refill between shifts. That's enough, more than enough oxygen to last the next uh, 30 seconds. Okay, this panel is loose, though. Uh, no. Push it first. Very heavy. Okay, as long as we can get this on a crash course to get into the furnace, it'll be okay. Even if the shift runs out. This is just a little bit too heavy for me to push with a gun at all. And there we go. Alright, not too bad. Should probably just grab tethers now. I'm gonna need them before the end. Okay. Finish dragging this panel off. Should be more than enough. Alright. Got a nice open workspace now. Pretty much carved the entire roof off of this thing. Alright, so we have the ECU in this room right here, and then we have the reactor and the thrusters back here. So, first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the thrusters, and then we are going to pull the cryo out of the ECU, and then pull the reactor. It's a very fragile process, but it has to happen quickly. Okay, there we go. So we have a full bar of time because we did the controlled meltdown. If we hadn't, it would have been much, it would have been like half full. Alright, so now we gently lift the reactor. Bring it under control before I do anything with it, and then we're just going to tether it in. And that is good. And it's stabilized by the barge. And as you can see, that was uh, a few credits for uh, getting that thing in there. So now we can uh, pull all these other components out, get the thrusters, get the ECU, 
And also, you know, just tear apart the rest of the ship. Now that we've, uh, we've dealt with the most dangerous bits. I want to get this aft section done first since it's going to start to splinter because we disconnected it from the reactor. All these bits are just free floating now. So I'm going to pull this this way for a moment. I'm not going to take it all the way though. I might be able to. I need to pull these fuel canisters out. These thrusters are sort of fragile, so need to be kind of careful with them. Oops. All right, we're gonna stick this to this anchor real quick, just so it doesn't go towards the furnace any more than it has to. That's a solid pull on that. I think these are still connected to each other as well. I have to figure that out. That's home. If I can get this aft section taken apart today, I'll be happy with that. This whole reactor region is pretty sketchy. A lot of very fragile pieces floating around. That should be this now. No? Oh, God, I'm missing all of these joints. Well, oh, there goes that. Get that out of the way. It's base plates. Well, I still got joints to cut, so we might as well just trail off for a minute. Hopefully that, sh that uh, aft section will come apart on its own. Escape through the bottom here. stuck. It's moving around way too much. Make sure we don't have anything on the inside of this. Nope. I'm trying to stabilize that. It's free. Just gonna get these out of the way while we can before something gets snagged. Working with very high velocities, so measuring measuring twice and cutting once, so to speak. In the end, it was a really small tap, but it was still risky. These things have a lot of momentum about them, so... There we go. Still got a good amount of time left. We're almost done with the, the aft section. If it hit me. Okay, now we have a power generator on this forward section we need to deal with. This thing right here. Keep peeling off this uh the hole around it. Because in my experience, the ideal way to deal with the interiors of the ship is just to peel all the outer layers off first. And then have the core floating in open space. What is this connecting? Oh, it's holding the crates in. I see. Okay, 
Okay, that'll be easier if we just pull the bottom panels off first. Just push them down. Get that clear. Maybe give it a little bit too much downforce. I don't want it to go into the barge. Okay. Good enough. Add in. these off before they go in and pull them down okay just gotta be kind of careful with these I don't want to pull the crates into the processing okay there's that good get that out of the way should be able to accelerate this a little bit. Looking good. They can give you a good whack and then instantly kill you. That's not gonna go. Are they connected to this? Yes, they are. Okay, there's that. This is nice though because we have these whole stacks of crates going all together into the barge down below. Oh no, it's disconnecting them. Okay, never mind. This will work though. Whew. Oh, that works. That takes them together. Should be enough tethers to get us through this shift though. I'll just uh, start forcing everything down. Got a lot of crates we need to put away right now. Ah, oh, damn. Gotta take these apart, it looks like. Yeah, I can only push two with my current gun. Okay. Everything that moves has to go somewhere. Should I make use of my last couple tethers here? Nothing bargeable in there. Ah, let me go. Flight controls. Have some chunks of asteroids floating around as well. Have to get rid of those with tethers. They're very heavy. All right, that's all of our tethers gone. Uh, let's just get rid of this real quick. Thirty seconds, so I'm just trying to do some very minor cleanup work. Some little bits that are floating around. Oh yeah, we can uh, pull this fuse real quick. So there's two more fuses somewhere we need to pull off as well, but that's for tomorrow. Eighteen million? That's very good. We went from right here because we were just pulling panels and like trying to expose the reactor to all the way up here. So, looking really good after that day. Okay. We're gonna refuel, re-tether, and hopefully get this done. But we're looking pretty good. We just have a little bit of exterior left and then the interior to pull. So we are looking pretty good. Oh, there's our other two fuses. Let's get these real quick. Perfect. And now you see the lights turn green. We can pull off this uh, power generator. There that goes. That's a pretty valuable object as well. So this particular panel right here is a air filter that goes to the barge. And that also, oh, I didn't even notice. That gives us a perfect reason to get in here and pull our ECU. Because normally you have to cut open one of the side panels to get at this thing, but in this case, it actually just let us in. Hmm, I gotta 
actually, let's see. I think this is just going to destroy this component, no matter what I do. But we'll try this. Yeah, that, that's... I don't, I'm not aware of a way to save that. Oh, whoops. Hold that off. ECU is another pretty valuable and large component. Get that out. Start to gut the front of the ship of all its computers. So I guess something I didn't really talk about before is the salvage rewards and how they kind of increase in reward as they go along. So the level 1 reward is the same in XP, but it's not the same in the upgrade tokens. You get many more of the the upgrade tokens for the later objectives so it incentivizes you to at least get 90% of the ships done it's a little bit of a tricky part pulling all this stuff out of the interior hoping to get this done in this shift but it really depends on how much stuff is inside of these rooms it takes time to pull everything out I suppose I could cut the side open, but I prefer to do it like this. Ladders aren't very valuable, I'm just more or less trying to get it out of the way. I'm just gonna float that out there for now. I'll keep looking around. Now we gotta deal with this section we couldn't get off before. Does seem to be loose now. Uh oh. Don't want that to get crushed in there. This is a tricky position for this panel to be in because it's kind of hooked around the the whole craft here. It's actually tipping it over a little bit. This does seem clear, so let's uh, let's do a little cut, just a little one, and we'll pull this uh, forward assembly into the furnace. Okay, we'll have to go probably try to flip it over to pull this end first. So, try to roll it this way. Oh, this is... Oh, 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 whoops. I did not realize what I was working with here. Okay, there we go. That is processor material. This is all furnace material. More or less. Mostly furnace material. Alright, now let's try to pull this whole reactor assembly out. So we have this. Oh, we have the thruster section free. So we'll just pull that that way. I'm gonna give it a shove. Yeah, there we go. Right in. Oh. Oh no, it's just rendering. Okay. There goes that. Canceled those tethers, gotta put them back on. Alright. That is not too shabby. So now we should be able to pull, if we're accurate, we can pull this whole reactor section. Oh boy. It's so precise to try to get that out of there. I'm not sure how this is still connected. We got the Ford part out, so we'll just cut our losses and disassemble the rest of it. And that whole part should go now. I realize what I'm dealing with now, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this part off. Got a lot of tethers to use. We got, we're got more worried about time than tethers right now, so we're going to... Do our best to shut down this shift. Oh, I just burned up a door console. 
Not sure where that was. Must have missed it. But we got the last tier salvage goal, so that's the main objective. Still, sh still should be on track to get the uh, the mini me, but yeah, I'm not sure where those consoles were. I think they were in the Ford section that I flipped and pulled in back there. But we are on track to get this done. Well, not a whole lot of electronics left in this section. Should be pretty good. Could probably just furnace this whole thing right now and be good. Yeah, we're just dumping this. That should be 95% already. Alright, well. Oh, there's a... This is why you always check the scanner. Because you get little bits hanging around like this. And, oh, come on, come across. There we go, mini-me. So I didn't really explain that. Uh, mini me is for getting 95% uh, salvage ratio. I lost another airlock console. God. Oh well. There it goes. So we got 97%. Out of all that, 3% lost isn't that bad, considering I dumped one of the most important, uh, or I destroyed one of the more expensive consoles once. Well, that about wraps that ship up. Uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that one. That's one of the biggest ships I've taken on so far and went really well. Felt well and in, in control of everything that was happening, so really nice. Really, really nice. I know I usually play more DRG, but I thought this would be a nice change of pace, so I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to catch me live, I stream over on Twitch. If you'd like to talk to me about hard space or DRG, you can find me over on Discord as well as my community. And as always, thank you for watching and have a nice day.